Hello everyone, this is Joseph with JN Unique Designs and I'm back with you today for a recreation of a video that I had filmed a while back and I have no idea what happened to it. I thought I had posted it to my YouTube channel but um, at a viewer's request, I don't know where that video went off to. So we're gonna make some alcohol backgrounds. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some alloy and we're gonna use uh, different types of alcohol inks and we're gonna create these little backgrounds here. And this, uh, these are a couple of the backgrounds. And uh, basically what I do is I once I create these, I use them for part of my cards. So join me as I turn the camera around and uh, we'll go have some fun. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I mentioned to you that uh, this was a special request earlier in my um, introduction video, but uh, so I had a follower, a faithful follower, ask me how I made these backgrounds. And what I did was I had made these different types of backgrounds and I put them all into a box here and I save them for um, any cards and any things that I am doing. Um, and uh, they asked how I made this with the alcohol and uh, um, these actually turn out really cool on a card. So if you haven't tried it yet, um, I recommend trying it. So I had done this before, but I don't know what I did with that video and I guess I didn't upload it. So that's why we're doing it again. Um, set that aside. First off, what you're gonna need is alcohol ink, Yupo paper. And this is just from Ranger. I have 10 pieces used with alcohol here. I'm gonna take a couple sheets out. I tried it with photo paper, and unfortunately with photo paper, it doesn't work as well. So I don't recommend that, but try Yupo paper. And I'll tell you all about, I'll tell you a little bit more here as, as I pull out these, some of these sheets of paper. And uh, we'll go that way. So, let's see here. Um, a lot of people recommend using alcohol ink by Ranger. I don't care. I use Copic refills here. Nothing fancy. I'm using G30, G46, and G94 for green and for red, R89 and R29. And then I'll also be using some uh, Ranger alloy, gilded alloy, um, silver and gold here. And so all I do is, um, all I do is I'll, I'll set this aside real quick and I'm gonna use uh, some alcohol blending solution here. I'm gonna open up this just a little bit, get things ready. And then um, I'll use a blower here to get the colors moving. So what I do is I tend to, I just drop a couple drops of blending solution on there. Let's add a little bit of red throughout there. And I'll add a little bit of dark red in here. And then I'll use a um, balloon just to blow the ink around. As you can see, the ink moves very freely on Yupo paper. So if you want, you can place a, um, a uh, piece of paper towel down below. Let's see if I have a sheet here somewhere. Maybe. Aha. I do have a little piece of paper towel here. And uh, if you place that underneath, what happens is that it'll absorb the ink before it gets all over your, your crafting table. As you can see, it already did when I put that over. So don't matter, I'll just place it over now. And it dries very quickly, as you can see. So what you wanna do is you wanna be careful with how much of this you wanna put. I'll take some more blending solution just to dull it up a little bit more. And I'll take uh, some more of this dark red here and I'll drop it right into those spots just to get it moving. And what you wanna do is you just wanna do it freely. I'm not doing anything specific. There's no mind, no design, specific design I'm looking for. I just uh, am blowing it and you can do it, you can do it in multiple ways. See how I do it. And then I'll take some of this, the gilded uh, alloy. I'll place some in there. And then I'll make sure I get some more of this blending solution in there. And then you wanna work quickly because it dries so quickly. So 
as you see. So Sue, if you're watching this live right now, if you're watching this video on my YouTube channel, this is how I do it. And this is how I make your background for your monster cards. And let's see if I, I don't have any cards that are available um, that I already made. So I'm sorry I don't have any of that. But what I'll do is I'll cover up the white just because I don't want to, I don't want to waste this. I don't want to waste this whole entire Yupo paper that's really cool if I just leave extra whites, just areas of white in the area. You know, what I want to do is I want to fill it up. I want to use as much of that space as I can. You know, it's not taking very much. So. And if you want more of it, uh, more of the alcohol to move, all you do is just drop a little bit more of that blending solution in there and the alcohol will move. And sometimes you just uh, squeeze your, you can do this with a straw, you can do this. There's many ways to do this. You don't have to do it with the little pump balloon that I'm using here. that I think that would look great and then what I'll do is I'll set this aside to dry how simple is that and how how gorgeous is that and that's ready for a project as soon as it dries so let's do one more I'm gonna set this one aside just so let it dry it's uh, and I normally set these aside for about 24 hours uh, to dry in case you're wondering how much time it's required to get them to dry I really do let them thoroughly dry so I'm going to start off with something a little bit different this time and let's let's do this. Let's do the alcohol um, colors here from Ranger again, putting on some blending solution and I'll take some of the colors here, add a little bit more than usual and then I'll take this turquoise color. As such and time to do the same thing they blend together very nicely sometimes you just have to be careful with how you want to blend how you uh, squirt your thing and um, if I had a straw here I'd show you that you can use your you can use your your breath Actually, let me see if I can find a straw Give me a second here to get this. And what you want to do is you want to try to blend the colors together as such. See, and all these other spots over here, all these white spots, what I've noticed is the reason why there's white spots is there's no alcohol blending solution in that area to move the ink, the alcohol. So that's why they're just uh, very sedentary. So, oh, there we go. There's that. And then what I'll do is I'll take this silver, add some silver to there. Add a little bit of extra silver to it. And what you want to do is you want to move it along. Break up the ink. Break up the alloy. And the more you have, um, the more blending solution you have on the alloy, and the more you squirt the air to it, you can see the more it moves. See, and the more it looks like marbling. 
and uh, this bottle of alcohol I've had for several years now so it, it lasts you a long time so don't worry about you know thinking oh that's wasteful and that's gonna be expensive so here we go. and I just want that to marble a little bit more than usual there's that so now this one this piece is ready for a card or ready for a design you see and as I can see how that's still moving around that's perfect because I can use my little blow brush here and get it to marble a little bit more and get the dry the alcohol to dry off so I'll place that aside for it to dry Let me see if I can, I do have a straw here. Let me see if I can grab that straw and I can show you. I'll grab that straw here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place that Yupo paper back down, a different color. I'm gonna blend it with, uh, put some blending solution oil on here, on here. And I'm gonna open up some colors. Me use this one is G94 first. As you can see, this one's empty. It's the last of that refill, so I'll just go ahead and trash it. I'm gonna mix it with some of the Ranger alcohol here, because that's what I like. I like multiple colors. And then I'm gonna use a lighter green, and this is G03. A lot of colors to this and then I'm gonna take my straw here and I'm gonna blow Perfect, just like that. And I'll take some gold alloy. Sorry, I'm not able to um, speak when I'm blowing, so. that works there we go and then you know if you don't like it I recommend getting the brush and you can it's a lot easier on you that you don't have to blow it around but again if you have too much of a condensation with the gold alloy in certain areas I recommend just using a little bit more alcohol blending solution to break that up to give it a little bit of marbleized look there we go I think so as you can see how easy that was to create these backgrounds and by doing it with any type of alcohol that you have in your stash you don't have to worry about um, a specific type of alcohol there's plenty of different ways to do what you're doing and you're gonna create something beautiful so um, if you haven't already please like and subscribe to my channel please comment below and uh, let me know that uh, you enjoyed that and uh, join me next video and I will show you how to make these cards into um, uh, adapt these into other cards thank you so much everyone have a good day